And welcome back to EDH Deck Building. I am your host, Demo, and what is the most popular commander set. This is a massive undertaking by myself. I thought I would do a little bit of number crunching and find out which set is the most impactful on the commander format. So essentially the most amount of decks. So obviously how many legendary creatures are there in those sets and then how many decks for each of those legendary creatures. And obviously for this, I'm going to use EDH Rec. It is the best database that there is for information on commander, of course. I realize is not entirely accurate. You never can be entirely accurate. There's some guy living in Timbuktu who has a bunch of commander decks just hiding in his closet that aren't on any database anywhere. I realize that. However, we're going to get a pretty good idea here, I think. And yes, there is recency bias. I understand that. But I think people will be a little bit surprised by the order here. It is not entirely the newer sets are at the top. And it's not entirely the commander sets are at the top, right? I am including actual commander sets here and they're not necessarily the most popular ones. Also a few addendums, I'm not including reprints, right? So any commanders, any legendary creatures that have been reprinted are not going to be included here. I only included the legendary creatures from the original set that they were printed in. Obviously there's going to be a few sets that there are no legendary creatures at all. So it's not like I'm including every single magic set here. Any set that doesn't have legendary creatures isn't going to be on this list. And I'm only doing sets from a year ago. Uh, I, you know, you really need to have a set sort of percolate in the format to get a good idea of what's going on. So I don't have any sets that have come out this year in 2021. The most recent set on this list is going to be Commander Legends, which came out about a year ago, right? And we're starting out at number 103 with 50. If Dawn, that's right, I said this was an epic undertaking. I got 103 sets to go through here. And Fifth Dawn only has a single commander. Obviously, there's sets that have none at all. This is the only set that has a single commander. It's Raksha Golden Cub. And there is only 14 decks currently on EDH Rec. So obviously, for the entire set, there's only 14 decks. So Fifth Dawn comes in dead last. Next up at 102 is Exodus, which has two commanders, Miri Cat Warrior and Urtai Wizard Adept for a total of 29 decks, so two commanders that are not very popular at all. Next up, Mercadian Masks, also with two commanders for a total of 40 decks. After that is Weatherlight with three commanders. Unfortunately, they are not very popular ones. You got Miraxis of Keld, and then you have the Horrible Twins, Morin Fen and Gallo Braid, which are very underwhelming, both of them. Having a cumulative upkeep of paying life on your commander is not fantastic. So a total of 57 decks there. Next up at 99 is Urza's Destiny, also with two legendary creatures, but one of them is banned. This is our first commander banning. Rafelos Lanawar Emissary is banned in the format, so that only leaves Rain Academy Chancellor sort of as the lone legendary creature, or commander at least, from the set, with 59 decks. Coming in at number 98 is a relatively newer set, and that's Zendikar. I mean, newer for me at least. So it's not just old sets at the bottom here. Zendikar has has four commanders, but again, one of them is banned, Iona Shield of Emeria. So that only leaves three for a total of 115 decks. Next up at 97 is Urza's Legacy, again with only two commanders for a total of 135 decks. Next up at 96 is Eventide, with again just two commanders. It's actually quite common for a set to only have two legendary creatures in it, which I think is shocking by today's standards. You have Sap of Colfiner and Ashling the Extinguisher for a total of 167 decks on EDH Rec. After that, Judgment, four commanders in Judgment. Some really interesting ones here, but they're all monocolored, and you know, monocolored commanders tend to be less popular. So a total of 188 decks. Coming in at number 94 is Homelands. There's actually 14 commanders from Homelands, which is really interesting. There's some really unusual, interesting ones here. Ison's Shade is one of them, which I recently did on my Underwhelming Commanders series. You have the Artifact Destruction twins here, Chandler and Joven as well. So even though there's 14 legendary creatures from the set, only 232 decks total because they are very underwhelming. Homelands sort of infamously is a pretty terrible set all around, I think. After that is Prophecy. Prophecy has five legendary 
legendary creatures, five commanders for a total of 257 decks with Joel Rael, Empress of Beasts leading the way, another commander I did on my Underwhelming Commander series. After that is Nemesis. It has three legendary creatures for a total of 276 decks. And after that is Plane Shift, also with three commanders for a total of 301 decks, but the majority of those coming from Urtai the Corrupted, who has 244. Yet another commander I did on my Underwhelming Commander series. And next up at 90 is Apocalypse, with with two commanders for a total of 316 decks, Chromat having the majority of those, but shout out to anyone who's got a Gerard Capuchin deck. Next up at 89 is Stronghold with two legendary creatures for a total of 351 decks, and again, the Sliver Queen being the far and away the most popular one there, Krovax the Cursed only having seven decks himself. Next up at number 88 is Mirrodin with two commanders, Bosch, Iron Golem, and Glissa, Sunseeker for a total of 396 decks. After that is Darksteel at number 87 with two legendary creatures as well for a total of 429 decks. Memnar carrying most of the weight there. At number 86 is Onslaught. Seven legendary creatures from Onslaught. That's quite a bit for a set back then, but not a lot of popular ones. Only 442 decks overall. Next up at number 85 is Legions. Three legendary creatures from Legions for a total of 457 decks. At 84 is Dark Ascension. Again, another newer set, but only two legendary creatures from that set. Mickeyus the Unhallowed and Thalia, Guardian of Thraben. Not really popular ones either, so a total of 459 decks there. Next up at 83 is one of my favorite sets, Urza Saga, with two legendary creatures. Karn Silver Golem, the first colorless commander of course and baron master wizard for a total of 486 decks coming in at number 82 is torment five legendary creatures for a total of 487 decks and chainer dementia master is far and away carrying the water for this set 445 decks next up at 81 is rise of eldrazi with six legendary creatures but again we have a ban here and Rackle the ions torn is banned from this set so that's not included in this count obviously 503 commander decks from this set in total next up at number 80 is morning tide with three legendary creatures for a total of 511 decks and after that is another one of my favorite sets that's Mirage. 12 legendary creatures from Mirage, which of course is a lot for an older set like that. There's a total of 513 decks. A lot of really interesting commanders. You got Zerlin of the Claw and Azmira Holy Avenger, both which I talked about on my Underwhelming Commander series already. Hakim Loreweaver, another one I talked about on my Underwhelming Commander series. Tanawa, one that I mentioned in a video recently that I did for a patron. A lot of really interesting commanders in this set. Next up at 78 is Tempest, a set that sort of holds a special place in my heart because it's the first set that I started playing with when I first started playing Magic. Has six legendary creatures for a total of 561 decks. Not a bad showing for Tempest. Coming in at number 77 is Portal Three Kingdoms. That's right. Portal Three Kingdoms has 30 legendary creatures. 30. That is the fifth most of any set. Unfortunately, most of those are really, really bad. So it only has 578 decks total amongst those 30 legendary creatures. Diochan Artful Beauty being probably the most notable, the one that people are most familiar with. Again, I talked about that on my Underwhelming Commanders video. Most of the commanders from this set, though, have like two or three or four decks at most. The overwhelming majority of the commanders in this set have like five decks or less so despite the large number of legendary creatures not a very popular set in the format coming in at number 76 odyssey an odyssey has eight legendary creatures and some really interesting ones like atog atog or abishon which is one of my own personal decks and another banning with braids cabal minion banned in the format so without braids we have a total of 624 decks from odyssey next up at 75 is ice age 
four legendary creatures from Ice Age for a total of 734 decks. Mariki, Re Barrett, definitely holding most of those with 500 decks. That's pretty decent showing for an Ice Age legendary creature, I think. I was actually surprised how high Ice Age appeared on this list. I was also really surprised how high Alliances appeared on this list, coming in at number 74. Three legendary creatures for a total of 933 decks. That's pretty good for three legendary creatures from a long, long time ago. But of course, Feldegriff is from this set and everybody loves that huggy hippo. It has a total of 707 decks on EDH Rec right now, all on its own. Coming in at number 73 is everybody's favorite set, Ravnica, City of Guilds. There is eight legendary creatures from Ravnica. And of course, they're all multicolored. That's one of the things that people love most about that set is the multicolored theme. 1,110 decks on EDH Rec from that set. Surprisingly though, even though that's a beloved set, not a ton of love in Commander, I think. You know, you got Savra, Queen of the Golgari, the most popular commander from that set with only 347 decks. You got Sisters of Stone Death and Zadak, Lord of Secrets, both of which I did on my Underwhelming Commander series. Some really interesting commanders here, but not a ton of decks overall in the format. Coming in at number 72, Dragons of Tarkir. Nine legendary creatures from that set for a total of 1,139 decks. Coming in at 71 is Mirrodin Besieged. Only two commanders from that set, but we got 1,140 decks, mostly thanks to Glissa the Traitor, which is a relatively popular commander in the format. Next up at 70 is Innistrad, the original Innistrad. Four legendary creatures from that set for a total of 1196 decks. Next up at 69 is New Phyrexia. Seven legendary creatures from that set. Most famously the Praetors, right? Everyone's favorite commanders, those dang Praetors with all their nasty abilities. 1212 decks overall from New Phyrexia. Coming in at 68, one of my favorite sets, maybe my favorite set of all time, Future Sight. Just so many interesting cards from that set, including the commanders, that dreaded grandeur ability that I talked about in my most recent 10 deck ideas video is a real toughie to build around in commander. Nevertheless, those commanders do have a little bit of a showing here. So a total of 1,489 decks for Future Sight. Coming in at number 67 is Guild Pact. Six legendary creatures from that set for a total of 1,579 decks. After that is Conflux, coming in at number 66. Five legendary creatures for a total of 1,624 decks. And of course, at the top is two five-color commanders, Child of Alara and Progenitus. Both of these were sort of the go-to five-color commanders for the longest time. Next up at 65 is Magic Origins. Ten legendary creatures from Magic Origins. You have the flip commanders that flip from a creature into a plane walker that was our first appearance of that i believe not overly popular though so even though there's 10 legendary creatures from this set we only have 2015 decks overall Coming in at number 64, World Wake. Five legendary creatures from that set for a total of 2,049 decks. Omnath Locus of Mana far and away leading the charge there with over 1,200 decks. Coming in at number 63, M15. And there are six legendary creatures from this set for a total of 2,096 decks. We got one monocolored commander of each color and then another five color commander in Sliver Hive Lord. Coming in at number 62, Planar Chaos. There is a 11 commanders from planar chaos which i found surprising for a total of 2144 decks but then i remembered they had that three color dragon series i sort of forgot that was from planar chaos because they've been reprinted a bunch of times obviously in commander sets coming in at number 61 another favorite of mine invasion 15 legendary creatures from invasion that's a lot only 2186 decks though this used to be a really popular set in the format captain sisse hannah ships navigator both of those used to be really popular commanders have fallen off quite a bit. You had Kangi, Airy Keeper, which was of course the go-to bird commander. Blind Seer, which I talked about again on my Underwhelming Commander series. A lot of really interesting commanders from this set. Had a multicolored theme again, so that's sort of what made it more interesting and more popular in the format. Coming in at number 60, Scars of Mirrodin. Four legendary creatures from this set for a total of 2,246 decks. Zuri, Renegade Leader, far and away the leader from this set with over 1300 though. 
Coming in at number 59, Saviors of Kamigawa. And there are 29 legendary creatures from Saviors of Kamigawa. And for those who don't know, that was sort of the theme in this set. Kamigawa was a sort of legendary theme. So there was a ton of legendary creatures from this block. Saviors of Kamigawa has the sixth most amount of legendary creatures from a set. But only 2,306 decks, not a lot of real popular ones from this set. Next up at 58 is Plain Chase, four legendary creatures from that set for a total of 2,317 decks. Maelstrom Wanderer, far and away the most popular one there. Coming in at 57 is Eldritch Moon, six legendary creatures from that set for a total of 2,450 decks. And famously, we get our first Spider Commander from that set with Ishkana and our first <clears throat> Werewolf Commander from that set. Next up at 56 is Dissension, six legendary creatures for a total of 2,488 decks with everyone's favorite Grand Arbiter Augustine IV leading the way. Next up at 55 is Gate Crash. Five legendary creatures for a total of 2,597 decks. After that, at 54 is Avacyn Restored. Five legendary creatures and 2,686 decks there. But of course, that is excluding Gristlebrand, which is also banned in the format. Coming in at 53 is Theros. 13 legendary creatures, and of course, famously, we have our indestructible legendary enchantment creature gods from this set. Perforos, of course, being the most popular one. So Theros coming in at 2,725 decks. Next up at 52 is Aether Revolt. Six legendary creatures from that set. You had one of each mono color, and then the colorless one with Hope of Gearper for a total of 2,733 decks. And next up is the original. Originator at number 51, Legends, the first ever set to have legendary creatures, right? This set introduced the whole idea of legendary permanence. Of course, originally, Legend was a creature type. 54 legendary creatures from this set, the most by quite a wide margin. However, they are underwhelming to say the least. The set, even with 54 legends, has only 2,957 decks. There's some interesting ones though. You know, Dacon Blackblade, which I did on my Underwhelming Commander series, is leading the way with 352 decks. Salkanar the Swamp King, also which I did on my Underwhelming Commander series, is in there. Interesting one. Ramsey's Overdark, which I just did on my Underwhelming Commander series, is in here. Obviously, I will probably end up doing a whole bunch of the creatures from this set on my Underwhelming Commander series because there is a lot of really underwhelming ones. Next up at number 50, Scourge. Three legendary creatures from Scourge for a total of 3,023 decks and far and away the leader there is Sliver Overlord, the most popular Sliver Commander. Of course, being able to tutor for your Slivers is fantastic. That's got over 2,000 decks, so that's taken up a huge chunk there. Coming in at number 49, another Kamigawa set. It's Betrayers of Kamigawa with 28 legendary creatures. Again, it was the theme of the set. Betrayers of the Kamigawa has the seventh most amount of legendary creatures for a total of 3,136 decks. Coming in at number 48, Shadows over Innistrad. Five legendary creatures from this set for a total of 3,432 decks. A huge chunk of that coming from the Gitrog monster, everyone's favorite frog horror. Coming in at 47 is Time Spiral, another one of my personal favorite sets. 16 legendary creatures from this set. I had no idea there was that many. Some really interesting ones here too, but only 3,566 decks in total amongst them. Coming in at 46 is Alar. Reborn. Five legendary creatures from this set for a total of 3,873 decks. Coming in at number 45, Shards of Alara. Five legendary creatures from that set for a total of 3,907. And this was a set that really dominated a lot in the format for a long while. You got Mile of the Anima, which I talked about on my Commanders You Don't See Anymore video. Rafika the Many was another one that was really, really popular for a long time. Sharoom the Hegemon. Some really popular popular three color commanders from this set that sort of have really faded away in recent years. Next up at 44 is Amonkhet. Nine legendary creatures from this set for a total of 3,934 decks. 
Coming in at number 43 is Kaladesh. Seven legendary creatures for a total of 4,114 decks. We got Rashmi, Eternity's Crafter, coming in at the top there. Used to be a really popular commander in the format. Has trailed off a bit. Dapala, Pilot Exemplar as well was the most popular Boros commander for quite some time. Coming in at number 42 is Dragon's Maze. 10 legendary creatures from that set for a total of 4,209 decks. Interestingly enough, Rurik Thar the Unbowed is coming in at number one from that set with over 1,500 decks. Coming in at number 41 is Battle for Zendikar. Six legendary creatures from that set for a total of 4,305 decks. Next up is Lorwyn. Ten legendary creatures for a total of 4,360 decks. Coming in at number 39 is Journey into Nyx. Six legendary creatures from that set. And we have the multicolored legendary enchantment creature gods from this set for a total of 4,608 decks. Next up at 38 is Return to Ravnica. Five legendary creatures from this set for a total of 4,656 decks. After that, coming in at 37, we're going all the way back to Cold Snap. That's right, a set that old has 4,702 decks. Eight legendary creatures from that set, and of course, the leader here is Zur the Enchanter. That's right, Zur comes from way back in Cold Snap. Nearly 3,000 decks just from Zur alone on EDH Rec. Coming in at number 36 is our first Commander set, Commander 2014, which is far and away the least popular Commander set. There is 10 legendary creatures from the set, and this famously was the set that introduced Planeswalkers as commanders. So I imagine in the beginning, the idea of having Planeswalkers as a commander was probably a really interesting idea that a lot of people jumped on that bandwagon, but maybe got tired of it pretty quick. Only 4,749 decks from this set, and seeing as how there's 10 commanders and it's an actual commander set, that is a pretty terrible showing, although a big part of that probably has to do with the fact that all of the commanders from the set are monocolored. Next up at 35, Oath of the Gatewatch. Seven legendary creatures from this set for a total of 4,757 decks. And interestingly enough, the most popular commander from this set is Kozilek the Great Distortion, a colorless commander. Coming in at number 34 is M21. Ten legendary creatures from that set. And this is a really new set, so I'm surprised it's this low. Only 4,700 160 decks for M21. Rin and Seri being the most popular commander from this set by quite a wide margin. I mean, this set only came out a year ago. So, you know, the, all those people thinking recency bias is going to play a huge part here. That's not necessarily the case. Next up is M13 with five legendary creatures. And I, I could be mistaken, but I think this is the first core set that had legendary creatures in it. They used to never print legendary creatures in core sets. And of course, the most infamous one from this set being Krenko, Mob Boss, that I'm sure everyone in the format is familiar with. So with him leading the way, M13 has 5,570 decks. Next up at number 32, Conspiracy Take the Crown. Five legendary creatures from that set for a total of 5,589 decks, but we're not including Leovold, Emissary of Trest, which of course is banned in the format. Next up at 31 is Jumpstart. Ten legendary creatures from Jumpstart, and I think this was a set that was heavily engineered towards Commander. Had some really interesting commanders in this set. Zerzoth, Chaos Rider, one of them, which I have a deck Kells fight fixer which i did on my very first underwhelming commanders video but i think you know from what i've heard distribution was sort of an issue here they didn't print enough cards maybe or something like that so only 5750 decks from jumpstart coming in at number 30 is rivals of ixalan nine legendary creatures from that set for a total of 5787 decks and right after that at 29 is just ixalan with 5,823 decks from seven legendary creatures in that set. Of course, Gishas, Sun's Avatar, far and away the most popular one there. When this set came out, I swear for about a year afterwards, every game I played had a Gishas deck in it. Next up at 28 is Shadowmoor. Six legendary creatures from that set for a total of 6,057 decks. Then coming in at 27, Cons of Tarkir. 
Five legendary creatures from that set for a total of 6,459 deck. And there is some real infamous ones here like Narset, Enlightened Master, and Sidisi Brood Tyrant. Coming in at 26, Guilds of Ravnica. Again, very new set. Eight legendary creatures for a total of 6,853 decks. And of course, far and away the leader there is Niv-Mizzet Peron with 3,850 decks. One of the most popular commanders in the entire format. I'm actually a little surprised that this isn't higher because again you have the multicolored theme there's a lot of really interesting commanders from this set Next up at 25, Fate Reforged. 10 legendary creatures from this set for a total of 7,065 decks. And of course, you have the cycle of legendary creatures like Tassiger and Alicia, who are essentially monocolored, but they have those hybrid pips in them, which make them three color commanders. Next up at 24 is the original Conspiracy. Five legendary commanders from this set, all mostly really popular in the format for a total of 7,172 decks. Pretty good showing for only five legendary creatures. Conversely, coming in at number 23 is Champions of Kamigawa. This set ended up way higher than I thought it would, and part of the reason is because there is 46 legendary creatures from this set. It is the second most ever in a non-commander set. A lot of really interesting ones. Maronar coming in at number one with over 2,000 decks. You got a Zami, you got a Zusa, and there was 103 legendary creatures from this entire block combined. So a total of 7,322 decks from Champions of Kamigawa. Next up at 22, Born of the Gods. Seven legendary creatures. And again, we have those legendary enchantment creature gods again so a lot of popular commanders here for a total of 7388 decks coming in at number 21 is battle bond and this is an interesting one because of course it was the first set to introduce the partner with mechanic so i'm counting all of the partner withs as decks but also there are some people that build decks with just one of the partners so i included those as well it's an interesting challenge to say the least so there is six partner with commanders but of course because they can be played separately that's 12 legendary creatures as well as the two single legendary creatures from the set Najila and Grothama. So I guess 14 legendary creatures all in all in this set. All the decks total combined is 7,510. This is a really interesting, fun commander set. It wasn't made specifically for commander, but it's a great commander set. I encourage people to revisit it. It's got a lot of fun cards in it. Coming in at number 20, and we're in the top 20 now, coming down the home stretch is Ravnica Allegiance. Eight legendary creatures from this set for a total of 7,526 decks, and far and away the most popular one from this set being Tesa Karlov, of course, one of the most popular commanders in the entire format. Coming in at number 19, Hour of Devastation. Seven legendary creatures for a total of 7,555 decks. And again, we got these legendary god creatures that they did a little bit of a spin on in this set but still really popular like the scarab god and the locust god so i'm not that surprised that it appeared so high on this list coming in at number 18 is m19 or core set 2019 however you want to say it 10 legendary creatures from this set some really popular ones in the format of course they revisited the original elder dragons for which this format is actually named right elder dragon highlander was named after the original Elder Dragons like Nicol Bolas and Arcades, and of course they did a revised version of them, newer versions. Some really interesting commanders here. A total of 8,923 decks. So quite a big jump there. Coming in at number 17, War of the Spark. 16 legendary creatures from this set. That's a lot. This is when they really started to pour it on, I, I find here with a few of these sets where Commander, I think, is officially the most popular format in the entire game. And they really started to engineer these sets more towards Commander. And the amount of legendary creatures combined with the you know what those legendary creatures are doing really reflects that feather obviously coming from this set one of the most popular commanders in the entire format 9368 decks 
for War of the Spark. Coming in at number 16 is Commander 2015. And of course, as we get closer to the top, you're going to see more and more actual Commander sets. 10 legendary creatures from this set. And again, this was another set that absolutely dominated the format for a long, long time. I mean, you got Marin in this set. You got Azuri. You got Mizix. A lot of these Commanders have fallen off in recent times. Marin's still one of the most popular Commanders in the format with over 4,000 decks. We got 10,434 decks from this set. So pretty good showing there. Coming in at number 15 is Theros Beyond Death. 27 legendary creatures. Like I said, they really started to engineer these sets for a while towards Commander. This is where they really started to pour it on here. This is the eighth most amount of legendary creatures from a set, and there is 12,145 decks from Theros Beyond Death. Coming in at number 14 is our next Commander set. It's C13. 10 legendary creatures from this set for a total of 14,695. And of course, we just have absolute staples in the format at here like Aloro, Nekusar, Derevi, Prosh. No surprise here that this set appears as high as it does. Coming in at number 13, maybe a little bit of a surprise, is Zendikar Rising. One of the newest sets on this list, I guess the second newest set on this list, came out about a year ago. 17 legendary creatures for a total of 14,711 decks, but I'm also including the Zendikar Rising Commander set, right? This is when they first started doing that, where they're just printing Commander Precons along with standard sets. And, you know, I thought it's sort of, all the same set. I'm going to count it together. This is really the only set that appears on this list that is like that. So I just combined it all. Coming in at number 12 is M20 or Corset 2020. And this is an interesting one. M20 has 12 legendary creatures for a total of 14,786 decks. But of course, banned now in Commander is Golos, which was the most popular commander in the entire format. Still has 7,360 64 decks on EDH rec. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there still playing this commander, even though it's banned. So technically there's only 14,786 decks, but if you included Golos in there, we'd be up to 22,150 decks, which would have put Corset 2020 at number nine overall on this list if we were able to include Golos in those numbers. Still though, even without Golos, I mean, you got Yarok, you got Kaikar, you got Omnath, Locus of Royal, so many really, really popular commanders from this set. Again, this was in that era where they were just really pouring it on as far as the legendary creatures being engineered for commander. Coming in at number 11, Ikoria, Lair of Behemoths. 23 legendary creatures from this set. And no, I did not include the Ikoria Commander set. They did come out at the same time. I kept them separate. This is just Ikoria, Lair of Behemoths. 23 legendary creatures from the set for a total of 15,603 decks. Lutri, though, of course, being banned, was banned before it was even released. So technically only 22 legendary creatures from this set. Nethroi, Apex of Death being the most popular one, which is a pretty interesting, I find. More popular than Kinnon or Wynota? Very interesting. Coming in at number 10 is Modern Horizons, believe it or not. That's right, it's not just Commander sets all at the top here. Eight legendary creatures from this set for a total of 17,219 decks, and of course, Sisse, Weatherlight Captain, and Morophon the Boundless leading the way here. Two five-color commanders, both with a ton of decks on EDH Rec, but let's not forget about Urza and Yogmoth who were also printed in this set. Really popular commanders. So not surprising at all that this appears in the top 10. Next up at number nine is the Originator Commander 2011, or just called Commander originally. They later changed the name to Commander 2011 or C11. It was the original Commander set, 10 years old now and still hanging in there strong. 15 legendary creatures from the set, with over 20,000 decks, you got 20,680 here for C11. And when you look at the commanders like Cali of the Vast, Animar Soul of Elements, 
Just absolute staples in the format that aren't going anywhere anytime soon. You got the Mimeoplasm, Riku of two reflections. So even though some of these newer sets have piles of legendary creatures in them, and even though people tend to lean towards more newer commanders, this set's still hanging in strong. Coming in at number eight, and of course we're going to have a lot of commander sets towards the top here, is C-17. 15 legendary creatures from this set. This was a really popular commander set. 22,000. 1,846 decks on EDH Rec. The Ur Dragon leading the way, of course, with over 4,600 decks, one of the most popular commanders in the entire format. You also got Edgar Markov, Kest, some really popular commanders from this set. There's three commanders in this set with over 4,000 decks on EDH Rec. Coming in at number seven is C19. We got a whole bunch of commander sets in a row here. C19 has 16 legendary creatures with 24,323 decks decks total. Some really popular commanders like Elsha and Atla Palani, but interestingly enough, the most popular one from the set is Crick, son of Yogmoth, with over 3,000 decks. That's kind of surprising. Obviously a really powerful commander, but I would say that some of those other ones are a little more interesting. Coming in at number six is C20. And again, this is another interesting one because you have the partner with commanders. So we have five partner with for a total of 10 legendary creatures, obviously. But then you also have all the single commanders, right? Kalamax leading the way there, Zaxara, Gavi, right? Some really popular commanders. This was obviously a really, really popular commander set. So the five partner with commanders is gonna give us a total of 6,874 decks, and the 15 sort of single commanders is gonna give us 18,021 decks for a total of 24,800 195 decks overall. Really fantastic showing from C20. Coming in at number five, C18, and we're in the top five now, and I don't think anyone is surprised to see Commander 2018 so high on this list. 16 legendary creatures from this set for a total of 24,922 decks and just some absolute powerhouses. Eureka, the Tiger Shadow leading the way. Now the fourth highest ranked commander in the entire format with over 5,300 decks. That's really crazy. Lord Windgrace also in there with 3,500 decks. You got Tuvasa, you got Amanatu, commanders that you just see all over the place. But it's not just commander decks at the top. Coming in at number four is Dominaria, which might be a a little surprising until you find out that there is 44 legendary creatures from Dominaria. That is crazy. That is the third most. And of course, you got Muldrotha, the Grave Tide, which was the number one commander in the format for a long time. You got Joyra in here. You got Joda. You got, of course, Tatiova. Some really powerful commanders here for a total of 26,734 decks from that set, but not the most popular non-commander set. That is Throne of Eldraine coming in at number three. 19 legendary creatures from this set, which is the 10th most amount of legendary creatures from a set for a total of 34,872. And as I mentioned in my Biggest Commander Surprises video, I started with Throne of Eldraine for a reason because as I said in that video, I thought this was the most impactful non-commander set in the entire format. And I think I was right about that. You just look at these commanders, Chulain, Alila, Sir Gwyn, but of course at the top is Kenrith the Return King and Corvald Fae Cursed. And as I talked about in my recent video about about Golos being banned, I said, now that Golos is banned, Kenrith the Return King will very quickly become the most popular commander in the format which it now is, no surprise here. Like this set is just ridiculous. I think Arcane Signet was also printed in this set, right? Like just like a ridiculously impactful set for the format. Like I said, around this time with Throne of Eldraine, War of Spark, Theros Beyond Death, they really started pouring it on with the legendary creatures and engineering legendary creatures to be really popular commanders. I mean, you got four commanders in the top 10 in the entire format from this set. That's incredible. 
But of course, the most popular sets in Commander have got to be Commander sets. And coming in at number two is C-16. That's right. Recency bias doesn't play that big of a part here. This set is already five years old. And of course, you got the four color Commanders here, which was a really big deal when they came out. And also the Partner Commanders for the first time seeing those. We have five four color Commanders here for a total of 15,673 decks. Of course, Atraxa leading the way there. Still one of the most popular commanders in the entire format. But then the partner commanders. We got 15 partner commanders for 30,820 decks from the partner commanders from this set. That's incredible. For a total of 46,493 decks from this set, just completely saturated the format. You think about partner commanders like Thrasios and Timna, they're just everywhere. They're actually the second and third most popular commanders from this set behind Traxa. No surprise this comes in at number two. And probably to no one's surprise, coming in at number one is Commander Legends. I had contemplated whether or not I was going to include this in the list or not. It is barely a year old, I guess. But really, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter because if I did this list again in, you know, six months or a year, this probably would still be number one. There is 32 legendary creatures from this set, but also the partner commanders. Again, there are 41 of those. So I don't think it's a surprise that the two commander sets with the partner commanders are the ones that are at the top. So there are 48,788 decks from this set. Not that much more than Commander 2016. There's not a big jump there. 23,898 of those decks are coming from the single commanders, right? The singleton non-partner commanders. And from the 41 partner commanders, we're getting 24,890 decks. So about the same. You know, it's split pretty evenly between the partner and the non-partner commanders. No surprise here that this is the number one commander set. I think probably the top three for me, I probably could have guessed. Like I said, I already thought that Throne of Eldraine was the most impactful non-commander set. I knew say C16 because of the four color commanders and also the partners is always going to be a really popular set in the format and Commander Legends being number one, not a big surprise for anyone, I think. But that is it. 103 sets. Unbelievable. So much number crunching involved in this. You know, I'm a numbers guy. I like crunching numbers. It's why I like EDH Rex so much. Probably the most preparation I've ever done for a video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I always think it's interesting to look at these sort of things, figuring out what are the most popular colors in the format or what are the most popular sets or creatures in the format. I love looking at that kind of stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well, but that is it for today and thanks for tuning in. <laughs>